Hi Leo, this is your reading for January 2023. Um, I'm going to be doing a different spread this time, okay? Um, it's called a diamond spread, alright? So I'm going to start off with your home environment, um, your work, your love and relationships, and your family environment, okay? Um, the deck that I'm using is called Urban Tarot Cards, and I'm going to shuffle out um, for each section, sometimes more than one card comes out, and then I'm going to clarify each section with Ramsey's tarot cards, okay? Alright, so, let's see. Spirit, uh, what does Leo need to know and be aware of regarding their home environment? Regarding their home environment for January 2023, what does Leo need to know and be aware of regarding their home environment? <clears throat> regarding their home what does leo need to know and be aware of regarding their home environment for january um 2023 oh ooh, sign of pisces pop right up all right let's see um leo's work environment show me leo's work what do they need to know and be aware of regarding their work environment um love and relationships what does leo need to see about their love relationships for January 2023 show me their love Libra show me their Leo's family environment for January 2023 Leo's family environment show me their family oh a lot of cards came out okay all right so Leo what you have here you have a lot a lot of cards came out for your family environment but we're going to start with your home. Um, the moon card is here, sign of Pisces. So you may reside with a Pisces. You may live with a Pisces, whether they're a man or a woman. Um, if it's not only the sign of Pisces, then the moon um, relates to your intuition or needing to see something that has taken place in your home environment. It could be with the Pisces. Um, I'm getting something about an apartment. You may live in an apartment or something could be going on with your apartment building. Um, I'm getting something about like a landlord as well or someone that owns like if you don't if you don't live in a house and you live in an apartment something could be going on with the landlord or like um the agency that's responsible for running your apartment building or the person that's responsible for uh for it i'm getting something about money laundering so that could be external from you you may not have anything to do with that but it may affect you to some degree because if someone is if someone is in a money laundering uh, scandal that is surrounding you or uh, the person that owns where you live if you don't own where you live is involved with that that can cause issues and that may be what can cause you to move if that if that happens that's for like maybe like one person or something okay if it's not anything like that the moon is Pisces and um, but I'm getting something something is interesting that's going on with the Pisces element in your home environment if you do have a Pisces in your home and I'm getting something I'm also picking up something about a daughter um, you could have a daughter or um, maybe a Pisces has a daughter I don't know something's going on with a daughter in a home environment for some reason okay so you may not have any kids but you may live in a setting where maybe there's somebody has a daughter somewhere and something something needs to be seen about if you have children and you have a daughter something needs to be seen about your daughter if you don't have any kids or you don't have any daughters then something needs to be seen about someone's daughter if that makes any sense okay all right so let's do some clarification on that or something's going on with an apartment or like a housing situation and something's going on with money laundering and something is shady that's going on with the person that owns where you live if you don't own where you live. All right, let's do an outcome with the moon. What's going on with the moon? So need some clarification with the moon. The six of pentacles. <clears throat> so the six of pentacles, I get children. The six of pentacles with the moon is children. So there may be something going on with a child or multiple children in your home, if that makes any sense. Um, I keep being drawn to like a daughter. Okay, say if you're a man and you're in a heterosexual relationship with a woman, you're ch like 
you may have a you may end up having a daughter like if you if you if your wife or your girlfriend if you're expecting a child at some point um I get something about next June. Something's going on with June with expecting a child. The spirit just said something about next June. So, like you, you like if you're a woman, you may you may expect a daughter like next year if you don't have any kids. But if you're a man and you're dealing with a woman, the woman may have a child, and the child may the child may be a daughter, um, and, or the woman may not have a, the woman that you're dealing with may not have a child until next June, something like that. That's one scenario. Another situation is the Six of Pentacles. It could have something to do. I get adoption. Like you may consider adopting as well. Like you could be using your intuition that maybe you can adopt a child. Um, I get something about three, like you may have three children or you, or you want to have three children or someone that you know has three children, but something's going on with adopting. So you may end up adopting somebody's child or, um, it could be, if it's not children related, the six of pentacles does have to do with money. So I get foster, fostering when I said money. So you could be using your intuition that you may end up fostering like somebody's child or like fostering children, like a, being like a foster parent. Um, but I'm also getting the idea that that may be how someone sees you for some reason. Like someone may see you as a foster parent or you're going to end up in a conversation with someone and they're going to tell you, you know, they're like, dude, you look, you, you might as well be a foster parent. Or, or if you're a woman, somebody will walk up to you, sis, you might as well go into foster care <laughs> I don't know like somebody has that perspective about something going on it's happening in your home environment though maybe there's just maybe somebody visits you that has a lot of kids and maybe the kids aren't being taken care of well and they're trying to say that you should take on the kids I don't know something like that let's do another clarification on that if there's nothing to do with children then I wanted to get back to um, I get helping a landlord with the landlord issue or somebody that owns where you live. The Six of Pentacles could mean that I get coming out of pocket. You may come out of pocket to help someone that owns a property that you live in. So if you find out that um, I'm, get, I'm getting this feeling of trying to help someone get out of a hole financially, and that could be that could be through property ownership yourself or as property ownership of a person that is responsible for where you live if that makes any sense all right let me do another outcome on the six of pentacles it's a lot going on there you have the three of cups all right um i get she she's helping or she is giving I, i'm being drawn to a pisces because the pisces card is here but it could be whatever water sign too because the three of cups is here you could be dealing with earth water um the three of cups it brings in the energy of the water sign the water sign is saying she this see there's kids in this card too so I feel like she is going to help you like there's a female water sign in your home environment that can help you with some type of money um, but I'm getting the idea of working elsewhere so that could be related to the water sign or you so you may have to work you may do some type of work in your home but um, but I feel like it's that may not you may not be able to do that for much longer like um i feel like uh i get this idea of six months because number six is here so i feel like in six months you may not where you live right now you may not be there anymore or if you work in your home you do something in your home related to children you're not going to be able to do that anymore inside of your home like you're going to be moving um with the water sign or the water sign energy is going to let you know that you know we can't stay here this is what's happening with this property or the bank or this co-ownership isn't working or the landlord whatever something's going on with the landlord they were involved in a money laundering scandal or they don't have the money to pay for this property anymore so we need to move that's what's coming through there okay so that's just a few or someone's going on with foster care some type of foster care that somebody is proposing you run but something's going on with the property for that or a school or something like that or something's going on like that okay Okay, now let's go to your work environment. Your work has the Aeon.
the Aeon in this deck, this Urban Tarot deck, is the Judgment card, all right? So there may be some type of judgment, like, it could be good or bad judgment that you face, negative and positive judgment related to something going on with work for some reason, um, but I'm getting the word place. So it could be the place that you work in, you know, something maybe, like, separate from you, the place that you work where you work may be facing some type of judgment. Um, but I keep getting this idea of money laundering. I keep being drawn to money laundering for some reason. So whereas I was getting money laundering with your home, I'm also getting money laundering with with some type of work. But now I'm being drawn to like an insurance company with the work as well. Something could be going on with insurance or somebody is doing something with an insurance company and where you work. And I get corruption when I said that. So something, there's some type of corruption there with where you work. And what did I say just now? There's some type of, something is corruption related between an, something going on with an insurance company and where you work. Or money laundering like it's something is strange that's going on there all right so let's do an outcome but there's judgment so it's a major arcana so that means that it's it's going to impact something that you do have going on all right so let's do an outcome on the judgment card okay. these cards are sticky the four of pentacles so the four of pentacles, pentacles represent your finances and the four has to do with holding on to, holding on to your source of income basically. <laughs> okay, since there's not a person here, okay, so, well there is a person there, but I don't think the person has anything to do with it. It could be, there's, it's a white person that's back there, so I don't know if that has anything to do with what you have going on. Um, you could have a supervisor that is white or you may... You may come across as a white female that's right here. As a white woman that's right here walking. So, but I keep being drawn to insurance. So something that you need to do insurance related to your work. It may involve, there's there's a, a, a white female that is involved with your insurance for some reason. But um, I feel this feeling, you don't want to go through that individual for some reason. <laughs> you don't want to go through them. Like, you feel like there's some type of obstacle if you go through them. But I feel like has money. So if you don't go through them, you're not going to get money that you need insurance-wise. Whether that be for a car. I mean, it's work. So insurance related to work it would be, what, life insurance? <laughs> or some type of insurance just to make sure that you're set um your it can be workplace benefits and things of that nature but you don't want to go through someone that um that you deem to for some reason you have this preconceived notion that they may give you a hard time some for some reason i don't know okay or it could be just related if it's not if it's not a workplace that you work for you can have your own business but there's an insurance company that you need to go through or someone is recommending you go through that you don't like for some it could be the people or the person that that runs the insurance company that you're trying to get around for some reason with the four of pentacles all right let's do another outcome or you may work you can work for an insurance company it just depends or you just need if you if you, you could be trying to get, get insurance through your job, but they may be giving you a hard time for some reason. All right, let's do four of pentacles, two, three. The four of pentacles has the hermit. All right, so the hermit, um, the hermit with the four of pentacles and the judgment in the workplace, and you can be like this Virgo energy here that kind of introduces the, the vibe of a Virgo. Um, you could be dealing with one in your workplace or as hermit because um, you don't know um, uh, you don't know where you're going to end up working or you don't know where what's another scenario um, I get moving also you may move offices like like your job may move so for example say you work in you work in one location in New York for example but maybe your company is shutting down that New York that New York location to move to an Alabama location so there may be some dislocation that's going on with you 
in the workplace particularly and you may end up looking for that's why the hermit is here too like you may end up looking for more jobs so you have a few different scenarios that is going on here one is dealing with an insurance company you may work for an insurance company for somebody and something scandalous may be taking place or something's going on with money laundering and trying to get around an insurance company because you don't want to go through someone or somebody and then another scenario is trying to trying to I also get get back into work you can you're trying to get back into work and something is going on there that is interesting okay all right let's go to your love relationships all right so you have the Justice card, sign of Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, I get this idea, if you're dealing with a Libra directly, they spend too much, <laughs> uh, or you do. Somebody spends too much money, or money, money, money may have been at the center of why a relationship broke up, or is, is that a stalemate with a Libra, okay? Is that a stalemate um, with a Libra? There's also blame as well. There's some either you or them with blaming the other for some type of um. I also get distasteful behavior with you and the Libra. All right, let's do some or it's just justice. If it's not only the sign of Libra, yes, you could have been dealing with one, but there's justice energy period to some type of bond that you had with someone. But it's giving me the idea of money and and distasteful behavior. Okay, but let's see what's going on. All right, the justice card. Can you clarify? Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, you have the strength card. So you have Libra and you have Leo, which is you. <laughs> you could be dealing with another Leo as well. Um, Leo, female, male, whichever. Um, the justice is with them. The justice could be with a Leo, another Leo, because um, I get attraction. So the justice is with a Leo because of attraction due to what well, was loving relationship. So it could be like a sexual attraction or like a, a intellectual attraction that you have to someone. It could be both. But um, I get embarrassed to have. So <laughs> you may be embarrassed to have that feeling towards the other person for some reason. Or they are, I don't know. But they both of you be, either it's you and a Libra or you and a um you and another Leo, like somebody's embarrassed to be attracted to the other person because I feel like if it's a Leo female that you're dealing with, they already have somebody. Or you you already have somebody. That's why the Pisces is here also. You tied to a Pisces uh, to some degree as well too. All right, but I get she doesn't want to talk to me. I'm kind of getting the idea. So if you're doing when I said Pisces, whether they're whether they're like a love partner or like you know just a mutual person, they don't want to talk to you. Like they may be shutting you off for some reason, like temporarily, and it could be because of your attract. I get something that they heard. They heard something, and something that they heard they may have been turned off by but it has something to do with your conversation the conversation or the, or the relationship that you have with a leo a, Le a libra and another leo if that makes any sense all right but let's see let's do another outcome on that oh and the air sign male okay it could be female you have the king of swords energy clarifies the strength and the justice I get someone some of this bisexual that is going on here too with the justice and the strength with the air sign male so the air sign male could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarian male and they could be bi I get secretly they're see somebody secretly bi <laughs> or they're secretly into like if they're a man they're secretly into other men if they're a woman they're secretly into other women or something's wrong with you <laughs> and and your attraction to them you may be attracted to them but but um but it, it may not be for the right reason i don't know something's interesting about that so if you're a woman let's go with you being a woman if you're a woman you you're attracting a bisexual male <laughs> if that's the case if you're a woman you're attracting a bisexual male that you don't know is bisexual if you're a man it's the same situation they don't have to be bi they could be straight but some is questionable about them okay 
then you have another Leo here and the justice kind of coincides with the fact that you have an attraction to someone that you you're embarrassed to have an attraction to for some reason it could have something to do with intellect and life path or something the sexuality related about it or the fact that someone is already tied to someone else I mean a business partner that has something to do with being attracted to a business partner one of them or however many of them could be business partners or a business partner right that's why the justice is here <clears throat> You see how the person is blindfolded <laughs> and that's because you have some type of feeling towards someone that um i keep getting bisexual you could be bisexual <laughs> or somebody else is that's here and they're really quiet about it but there's blindfolds so someone isn't trying to see that for some reason okay if that's not the case <laughs> if that's not the case then you're dealing with these elements you know you're dealing with if you have you have a libra here um i get wants to be you may have a libra that wants to be back in your space you have another leo that you have attraction to but that person may not see that you are attracted to them and they have an air sign male as well that something is something is fluid about the air sign male's sexuality okay whether you're a man or a woman you're dealing with someone that is has that going on okay all right, now let's go to your family environment. Family is always the longest, I'm noticing. Okay, family environment has the five of defeat. The princess of wands and the sun. Okay, this is your energy too, and it could be another Leo. The five of sword the, with the princess of wands and the sun. Someone could have had a secret child is what I'm feeling. Someone could have had, there's a son in this, but it could be a girl or a boy. Someone had a secret child. Could be a princess of wands in your family environment. Okay? Someone could have had a secret child. Or someone is secretly, someone could be secretly pregnant. That's, that could be another scenario in your family environment. Okay? Let's start with the five of sword. Kind of, it goes with the air element as well, too. Um, I'm feeling like if you're, if someone... Um, you could be in a situation where if you have like an air sign that's a family member, they, they really, like they, I feel like there's someone that doesn't really talk to you that much if it's an air sign that's in your family. They don't really talk to you, but they may deal with a princess of wands that's a family member or someone that's embodying princess of wands energy with the sun. But with the sun, I'm getting a pregnancy, so it kind of feels like you have a family member um, I'm being drawn to a cousin possibly a family member or a cousin someone is secretly pregnant but they may not be sharing those details with you okay but I get a distant I'm looking at the princess of wands and I get like they could be a distant cousin something's going on with a distant cousin or um, maybe you don't know about a distant cousin like maybe there's some family members that you don't know who they are <laughs> you know if you have cousins that live in other like parts of the world and you've never met them but somebody could be okay I see what's going on here you may have a cousin like you may have a family member I'm gonna go with them being like a fire sign because of the princess of wands you may have a family member that lives in um, I get Europe you may have a family member that lives in Europe like, but they're distant, like they're like a distant relative. They may be, if you, if you're not a white person, they could be white. Um, I get half, like you have a, like a biracial cousin, somebody has a biracial cousin, but you don't know about them. Like they're, they're really, they're a distant family member. Like they're distant, meaning like lineage wise, they're distant from you. And someone else in your family that's close to them is telling you something someone else in your family that you're close to or that you're close to that they're telling you something about this person but they're close to this person but you're not and you're confused and you're like who is she <laughs> like that's that's another element that's another part of the story that I'm getting to like you're like who is she so say for example you're really close to your uncle and your uncle is telling you about a cousin that you never met and they're telling you that the cousin is pregnant and you're like I don't know who she is like that's what I'm getting with the child all right mm. I keep getting distant like they're distant they could be a sibling that's distant I don't know somebody could be like emotionally distant they could be family that you only talk to online 
like with this with the swords that's why the sign of swords is there because you could this could have been a family member that you were once close to but they but they don't talk to you anymore it could have been like a dis i get the 90s like there's something may have taken place in the 90s with them <laughs> and they may be still upset about something that that's why the five of sword is there they may be upset about something that took place in the 90s and they're not talking to you still but the sun is here the sun is here because you're finding out that that same family member had a child or they have children whatever the situation is so it's interesting let's do some clarification on that all right let's see clarify the family section and it doesn't have to be Europe that they live in they may live in another state in the United States but you don't see them or there's family members that you're close to that they like for some for half a, you don't know that they exist that's one element you don't know they exist but there's family members that you're close to that know they exist that are close to them and they're tell the family members that you're close to are telling you about them but you don't know who they are like that's the storyline that I'm energetically feeling and then another scenario is that you know them, but you would you're not you haven't been connected with them for years, and they're somebody else is telling you that they're pregnant, or they're just distant, and you don't really see them. All right, so the hierophant is here to clarify the family section. The hierophant could be the sign of Taurus, um, but the hierophant. Um, I get advice. The higher font is kind of giving me an idea of advice that you could be seeking. Seeking advice. It could be from a family member that you're seeking some type of advice. You're seeking advice. It could be from another Leo. It could be from the, another storyline. It could be that you need to seek advice. But it's like if you seek advice, you may not want someone to share something something really private that you have i keep getting something about sexuality too something really private related to sexuality you're sharing with particular family members or even a friend that you consider to be like family but you don't want them to reiterate it i get an aunt you don't want it reiterated to an aunt or like an elder that is in your family that's why the higher font is there too okay you don't want it reiterated so you don't have to be dealing with that necessarily. It could just be that may be if it's not you, then you could just be finding that out about a princess of wands that is in your family. Like she may be bisexual. Okay? She may be something is going on with her sexuality. I get position in life too. Something's going on with, with the princess of wands position in life, whatever that means. Like if you look at the card, they look a little bit they look like they're having too much fun and they look unfocused like they look like they fell off like their their life is not going in the right direction basically so that could be another situation that aries uh, a leo aries leo sag female that's a family member and you're hearing you're hearing some things about that person from someone else okay that's a lot you got going on here I think this is the most interesting reading that I've done so far. All right, so let's do uh, overall outcome for the energy that I picked up here. Uh, what's the outcome for Leo's reading? Show me an outcome for Leo's reading. An outcome. Okay, Prince of Wands. That you could be embodying whether you're a man or a woman. The Prince of Wands. I would have made the Prince of Wands, the journalist is what it says at the bottom. So this energy, I feel like, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm picking up something really interesting. I feel like, I don't want to say what I was picking up, but I'm kind of getting this idea. Something is young, like you're older, but something is also young about you. Like you could be older, but something is young about you. And I also get, it has something to do with how you handle a particular family member so how you handle a particular family member could be how you handle a Pisces a princess of wands or information that you receive about a Pisces or a princess of wands right or some energy over here an air sign male how you how you're handling certain information here is is I have someone may be rough about how you handle some details about people 
for some reason I feel inclined to say is what I'm picking up on. That's what it, that's why this energy is here. But it's young, so it's a prince. So if you're older and you're showing up like a prince, it's kind of giving me the idea that I get gentle. Maybe you need to be gentle with information that comes towards you that you feel is out of your what do you call that? Um the judge the judgmental aspect. That's why the Aeon is there. Right there as well too. That's to do a lot of the is judgment. That's why I like it's it's almost like the the Celtic cross, but it's just different positions and different scenarios. But the judgment is here because I think maybe maybe you need the prince energy it, it comes in to say maybe you need to soften you need to come down from a king to a prince with how you approach certain situations here if that makes any sense maybe you need to be softer maybe maybe they're judgmental about someone that you could have been five of swords you could have been embodying and you may have been judgmental about you know what it feels like you may have been judgmental about a person that is in a situation that you were in before at one time with the princess of wands and the sun and the hierophant and the five of sword energy too mm. or something's going on with, with, with sexuality and some type of feeling with sexuality that you have or something's going on with someone that you, you could be attracted to a bisexual person but you don't know they're bisexual or they're really, they're really quiet about that <laughs> something is what I'm feeling Okay, or vice versa. Something's going on with that. All right, Leo, um, that was your reading. Let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.